Black Light <clears throat> Cyberspace Ministry. Free your mind and your ass will surely follow. We still talking about our black mothers, sisters, daughters, grandmothers, matriarchs. You know, the word ghetto used to only apply to the Jews over in uh, Germany and elsewhere. They would heavily populate the high rises and a particular section of town and referred to the, them as. The ghetto, which only means uh, when you got a large ethnic group concentrated in one area. So when black people started to populate the inner cities, and it wasn't nothing but black people, they transferred the meaning of ghetto to the black people. Now, you got the word slums. The word slums don't mean a plateau ghetto. Because the slums is just a run down section of town. You know, and here in Detroit, where it was heavily populated by black people, they referred to themselves as the ghetto, but they were middle class because they worked in the factory. They worked out in the factory making good money and uh, lived in, in an influent section of town on the west, west side, on the east side over in Chandler Park, out of drive. But when the housing crisis came, it was like a bomb hitting Detroit. And it started to depopulize the city. Crime from drugs and dope overcame the young mothers. They became junkies, you know. And so they had a, a lifestyle <clears throat> which they related to being in the ghetto. But out at the same time, out in the suburbs, it was happening out there, see. But let us go back to the days of Al Capone and the Godfather and when the Mafia and the Italians populated certain sections of New York, certain sections of uh, Chicago, where Al Capone was operating at, in Little Italy, and the Jews were gangsters killing up each other. So the black man adopted that type of lifestyle so he can get rich quick and impress his woman to have flunkies and slaves up under him. So the mothers didn't want their sons to be in that type of lifestyle but some of them start getting over. They could afford to buy their mothers houses and cars and jewelry and clothing and make them live good, see. 
So, the sons that were doing this, sons and daughters, because there were some women doing it, wanted to hang out in the influential areas where the influential white people live in the suburbs. So they wanted to escape the ghetto, set up business in the inner cities, the urban cities, but live out there in the suburbs. You see? And so you start getting people want to live, leave the inner cities and hang out with the rich gangsters. So the mothers, they didn't want their sons to, uh, sons and daughters to uh, do this, you know, do that type of lifestyle. But at the same time, they wanted them to get next to the Caucasians. See? See? So, Martin Luther King, when he wanted to integrate, and the Caucasians wanted to separate, they didn't want to integrate with us. They were actually doing us a favor. Because we would have had to stand on our own two feet. And circulate that dollar amongst ourselves because at that particular time when Martin Luther King was uh, protesting and trying to make them live up to the Constitution, which was the Constitution was gone by by the fifties, you know. So uh, what they would do, the black businesses was doing good, you know. And then the mafia came and tried to uh, horn in on the black businesses, because some of the black businesses, the, the numbers racket started with the black people. Now, you see what what they done did with the numbers racket. They turned it into the lotto. Now they got uh, gambling, open gambling in the cities now. So what do, So we got now? We got gambling junkies. You know, addicted gamblers. So the mothers raised the children to get close to the white man. And that's a tradition started back in slavery when the slave master started impregnating the black woman and the black woman then didn't want her her son or child to be in the field and a slave like that. You see, you seen all that in roots, you know. So now we have today when they just openly kill black men, boys, women also, old women and get off for the most part you know in Detroit we had this brother named Malice Green when Coleman Young was running was was mayor but them, them guys did time the white boys did time but since then you know you didn't hardly do no time and who killed uh, uh, young Davon Martin 
he wasn't a cop or nothing. He was just a crazed white boy that thought he, I mean, Mexican boy that thought he was white because he was raised by white people, see. So, uh, he got off from openly killing a black man. And the mothers, you know, by them being the mothers of civilization, they think they can mother the Caucasian. But as I said in the last video, two different type people. It's like the pigeons don't fly with the sparrows. Sparrows don't fly with the robins. You know. But they all in the might be on the same tree together. You know. I gave an illustration of the eagle being raised by the chickens. You don't know he's an eagle. That he's superior to it. You don't know that he's an eagle. You don't know that he's superior to the chicken. Because he's raised by the chickens. See, we gods. And the black woman, she wants to love everybody because she thinks the God in heaven, what she think was Jesus, which was first introduced to the black man and woman as a Caucasian. So we think God is Caucasian. So they mass hypnotized us. So, as a consequence, the black woman leave it up to the television, the schools to train the black boy, the black woman into the way of the Caucasian. So what you have today is widespread self-destruction. So we're going to come back with this on the other side. Black Light Out. Free your mind.